Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. How's everybody doing? Hi, Hannah. All the way from, I think, Croatia. Wow. How's everybody doing? Super excited um, this morning to pray with Dan. Um, and uh, he's a former professional baseball player. So my baseball here. So I wanted to uh, um, tell you a, a, a quick story. Um, there was two men and they were in their 90s and uh, one of them was very ill. And so he was on his deathbed and his friend came over to talk to him. And his friend said, um, when you get to heaven, there's one thing that I want you to find out for me. And so his best friend said, okay, I'll do that for you. So um, he got, to, his friend passed away that night and um, the, the, the friend had asked him to find out if there was baseball in heaven. So his friend passed away that night and um, the next night in a dream, his friend came to him and said, okay, I'm in heaven and I have good news and bad news. The good news is, there's baseball in heaven. The bad news is you're pitching on Wednesday. Oh boy. So anyway, let's uh, get Dan up here and um, let's get going on the rosary. Here he is. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Technology okay? You can hear me all right? Yeah, I can. Where are you at? Uh, okay, so different from the other day. Different from the other day. Yes, never awesome. know where I'm going to be. <laughs> great, great. Um, can everybody hear us okay? I think so. I think we're great. Um, so we, uh, let me start with a few intentions from our community and then we'll get going and then i um, super um, excited to hear your story, not only of your um, baseball career, but also your book and your uh, amazing rosary story you have to share with us. So looking forward to it. Um, so first, Jennifer um, would like us to pray for her friend's uh, son-in-law, Kent, who's going to have a complicated surgery this, uh, this morning. So we want to pray for him and his wife and his children. Um, from an update from Christella, who I think we prayed for her dad yesterday. He had a lung transplant yesterday and it went really, really well. He's doing really well. So we want to just continue to pray for him. And then um, a longtime member of the community, Anne, we've been praying for um, a while. Her son um, was missing and he has been found. Um, so what a day of Thanksgiving. Um, he's physically fine and he's um, been checked into a facility. And so she's just very super thankful that he was found. Um, and is there anything specifically you'd like to pray for? I'd like to pray for my wife, Heather, who still can taste and smell after just about two years from this oh, wow. crazy virus. And also my friend, Sally, his, his son, James, has cerebral palsy and a friend who has mono. And uh, just that we can get through this crazy times for everyone that's sick. Yes, for sure, for sure. And um, on that note, we are going to, um, I'm going to use some mysteries that um, a priest had written uh, some reflections that he had written for COVID a couple of years ago. And I think they're really still pertinent today. So I'm going to use those today when we're praying the Sorrowful Mystery. I always want to pray for everybody here that's on the live um, for all their intentions, both written and unspoken, and for everybody that will um, watch the replay. Um, and especially for Jill and Kristen and their families and for their continued fidelity um, and for just keep saying yes to Mary every day. So today's day 1201. So we're, we're getting there. So um, let's begin. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. After celebrating the Last Supper with his apostles, Jesus goes to the Garden of Gethsemane and prays before being arrested. In that prayer, he prayed that all might be one. During this time, we are united as a community in our suffering and isolation. But as believers, we are united in our prayer to Almighty God for the containment and eradication of the coronavirus. As we suffer our own agony now, let us ask for the grace to pray as Jesus did. And as we pray, may it fulfill Jesus' prayer for unity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. During the Passion, Jesus was beaten and tortured. We are mindful of those who are immunocompromised and success successful to disease. For them, any illness can be another scourging, another blow to their health. During this time of pandemic, we pray for their health, safety, and protection from the virus. P please, Lord, spare them in this moment. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. While earthly rulers have crowns made of gold, the crown of our Savior was that of thorns. Jesus is the King of life and the King of our lives. During this time, let us pray for the grace to put Jesus at the center of our lives and allow him to be the King and Lord of all that we do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. <clears throat> the fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. During this time, we have all been asked by our Lord to carry new and unexpected crosses. May our experience of the cross help us to know suffering in a new way. Let us walk with Jesus and from his example, find our strength and courage to carry our cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Jesus Christ became incarnate to be our savior. He saves us from our sins and lets us ask him to save us now from the coronavirus. Jesus' death on the cross defeated death. Let us also pray for those who will die today. By the blood of Jesus, may they find forgiveness and redemption. Just as Jesus said to the good thief, today you will be with me in paradise. May they hear similar words when they go forth to meet Christ our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I lost count. Do we have one more? I don't know. We'll do one more. Okay. Hail Mary, full of grace. Okay. okay. Um, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus. Forgive us, O King, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O gentle and loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. You want to do the St. Michael? Sure. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Dan. That was awesome. I think I forgot the first glory be. I was trying so hard not to, to remember not to do the Fatima prayer. I think I forgot it, but oh well. <laughs> You're, when you start talking a little bit, your voice kind of cuts out for a couple seconds and then it comes in. I don't know if it's your headphones or... How about now? Is that, does that sound a little better? Yeah, it's it sounds awesome. It's just like the first two, three words you say are like muffled, but that's fine. Okay, I'm sorry. Technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, no, no problem. No problem. No, no, no. Um, so we always um, like to start our talk with um, your rosary story, how you first learned it, who taught it to you, when it meant something to you. So whatever you'd like to share, it'd be awesome. Okay, so I'm what you call a revert. Cradle Catholic, okay. then I was lost for a while. I'd say I was a lost sheep. Then I came back as a lukewarm Catholic. And now I'd like to think that I'm on fire. So the rosary for me, I don't really remember as a child when or how often uh, I prayed it. In fact, I think I only prayed the rosary and, and I'm embarrassed to say this. Three, my rosary story begins in the hospital uh, two years ago, Palm Sunday, 2020. And, uh, I, I mean, not, and the story I've been sharing with the national media is that, you know, I, I was in a rough spot. I was at the beginning of COVID and, and uh, my body was sort of disintegrating in a sense. Uh, I lost 20 pounds and O2 levels had plummeted, fever had spiked. And, you know, the death toll numbers were spiraling and, and the television was on in the hospital and uh, no visitors allowed, of course. Of course. And uh, I was praying, of course, to God, Jesus, the entire time. And I tried to turn the television off. And when I did, my eyes were closed and I heard the words that our father taught us to pray. A woman was praying the Our Father. 
And then she was praying the Hail Mary. And I opened my eyes and I must have hit the channel up button. And it turns out it was Mother Angelica on the television praying the rosary. And of course. Of, of course. course. Good old and Mother Angelica. Of she course. sort of gave me that spiritual food that I needed for my soul at the time. And, and I had clarity at that moment. I knew I would get out of the hospital. So I prayed the rosary along with her. And, you know, reflecting back, I think that was only the third time in my life that I prayed it. A pro-life rally. And then my first retreat, which was about three years prior. So I prayed with her and got out of the hospital on Holy Thursday. Uh, Easter Sunday, I started wow. feeling better. And so the story gets better because I've been telling everyone that Mother Angelica was my nurse. And, and we know that God works in us and through us, right? So what I've realized, and it took me 18 months to figure this out. Now, you would think I would have been praying the rosary daily after a moment like that, right? I get a, a new swing at life in a sense. And um, not my first near death right. battle, by the way, but, uh, but I, I didn't figure this out until this past summer. And it started with watching the movie, the, the, the show, The Chosen. And then I started watching yes. Jonathan Rumi interviews and that turned me on to Scott Hahn, who's a convert and a fan of the rosary. And then Keith Nestor, who has a program. And then I heard him talk about Father Don Calloway, who has a testimony about Mary. So I heard Father Calloway share his story about how he felt so nestled when he, when he figured out Mary, you know, to get to Jesus, we need to go through, we don't need to, but we should go through Mary as the intercessor. Um, and I heard him say that, and that's when the bell went off for me. I realized that it wasn't Mother Angelica. It was Mary that showed up in the hospital room that day. And, you know, oh, who do you want, so who do you want with, who do you want with you when you're sick? Your mother, right? Well, I couldn't have my, I, 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 especially when you, yeah, right. Well, especially when my, you couldn't have your mother there or your it, wife. Exactly. So God did one better. He, he sent our spiritual mother, our, our God's masterpiece, the sinless, the perfect, the immaculate, blessed Virgin Mary into the hospital room. And then when I really made this, when I had this epiphany, I started praying the rosary, you know, once a day. And then I get to her birthday on September 8th. And I upped it. I went up to the three run home run and I prayed three, the joyful, wow. the sorrowful and the glorious. And then I decided that come January one, my goal was to hit the grand slam and to pray all four. So I've already prayed the other three this morning, by the way. So now I've, I've got my hour in and I, I can't help but think Caroline about that first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden when the disciples fall asleep. That's me for most of my life. I'm falling asleep on God. And uh, Jesus says, could you not watch for one hour? So whether that means an hour at church or an hour a day, I don't know, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to spend more time with God. And uh, it, it's wonderful meditating on these, you know, uh, I got this little finger rosary that I use today. Uh, I use it on the road and in the oh, car right. and, and on the treadmill. And uh, sometimes I multitask with it. But uh, so I used to think, I, I don't think it's taught properly for children. I'm trying to make it cool for young kids to play, pray the rosary. But for me, it was repetitious. And, you know, I prayed more, I prayed more Hail Marys in the last six months than I have in my first 49 years of life. Because I figured, why do you need to keep praying the Hail Mary? But it's not about the prayer. It's about meditating right. on the life, the death, the resurrection, the teachings of Jesus. And especially this sorrowful, I, I won't say it's my favorite. It's hard to call one of them your favorite because you're focusing on, on Jesus' right. suffering. But how often do we think about what he did for us? You know, we think about the birth at Christmas and, of course, the resurrection at Easter. But if someone, right. what I like to tell people is that if someone pushed you out of the way of a moving train and died in your place, how often would you think of that person? especially if they were tortured in that train wreck every day. So why shouldn't we think about what Jesus went through for us on a daily basis? So, you know, I get my strength from, from, from Mary and from the rosary and from prayer. And, and thank you for having me on to share this with you. No, it's, that's so, that's so amazing because we hear so many stories of, um, I'm a convert, so for me, the rosary was a big hurdle, um, which is funny now that I pray the rosary with 950 people on a live, which is actually very God's sense of humor. But um, 
that it really is um, when you really get past the repetition. I think somebody said it once, it's like the Hail Marys or like the heartbeat in the background and that repetition and that, and that comfort as you're meditating. And I like the Sorrowful Mysteries too. I always, um, I always say you can't get to Easter Sunday unless you walk through Good Friday. Um, so you have to go through, you know, you have to walk through that suffering and what he did. Um, so you were in the hospital at the beginning of this coronavirus and you were very sick. Obviously your wife had it as well. You said she's still recovering. Um, were you super scared? I mean, sure. it was right at the beginning. So we didn't know a lot. Um, I'm just so I was, I was, that... I'm sorry. I was, no, I was sick ahead, for, I was sick for 12 straight days. I had a fever of 103 degrees and they didn't know back then it was take Tylenol. But when I, when I couldn't breathe on Palm Sunday morning, you know, and I had, I knew I had to get myself to the hospital. Uh, of course you're leaving your, your wife and your two boys, not knowing if you'd return home to them and uh, you know, to, to be checked into a hospital in the COVID, it wasn't even a COVID wing. The whole hospital was filled with COVID patients. And, you know, my roommate in the, in the hospital didn't make it. I learned from him, oh. you know, he, he wasn't doing the things he was supposed to do. He wasn't able to roll over or he wasn't using his breathing spirometer, that sort of thing. And, you know, I, I got through it with prayer. I mean, I, I, I begin my book this way, by the way, uh, virtual mass that morning, I was quarantined. And my good friend, Monsignor Gino Silva from the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Patterson gave the homily. And because of my headache and the fever and the chills, the only thing I held on to was, uh, that was part of his homily was that we should never feel sorry for ourselves, especially during challenging times. So there were oh, moments, wow. moments in the hospital where I wanted to give up and I heard him sort of uh, speak to me in that sense. And you know, that Jesus never felt sorry for himself. Uh, so there were so many guardian angel moments, but also I knew that the cathedral was praying for me and, and with virtual mass, you can have, you can fill the church 10 times over. So I heard there were more than 5,000 people praying. So there's power there. And, 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 and I felt those prayers. So it, it was important to have a strong spiritual uh, f framework but also a strong mind because you tend to go to that dark place where anxiety turns to fear, fear turns right. to doubt, then depression. Then you, you know, and I went in as a man of faith, but I was questioning God's will. Unlike Jesus in the garden, you know, you know, he was said, not, not my will, but your will. And right. I was like, God, don't take me. I'm not ready yet. So it obviously wasn't his part of his will, but you know, the prayer, the strong mindset, and then, a strong body helped too. You know, I spent right. my life as a you know former professional athlete and a personal trainer for 20 plus years. So I'd sculpted the bodies of clients. I'd sculpted my own. So uh, what I would say to people is take care of your bodies because you never know when you'll need to lean on that armor and weaponry. But most importantly, what I've learned is that we need to get the order right, especially during times of stress and turmoil, that we need to put our spirits first. We need to put our faith first. We need to put God first in everything that we do. Right, right. And I mean, I have uh, a little experience with baseball. My son was a college baseball pitcher, which I always say the worst position in all sports is pitcher's mother. Um, but anyway, so um, just that game of baseball itself, the, the mental um, fortitude you have to have and that, um, you know, even just, you know, that probably prepared you um, you know, to fight something like this, because it is, you know, we, we talk to a lot of athletes and there is so many parallels between athletics and faith. Um, and, in uh, fact, I, I was just, just yeah, no, no, you're right. I was just at a prayer session on Saturday morning and that was the topic, faith. And, and we talked about Vince Lombardi on how he was a strong Catholic, went to mass every day. And, you know, he gets misunderstood sometimes. He was my way, the highway, but he was a, a faith-filled man. And uh, so anyway, with that said, that this sports background helped me tremendously, you know, getting through grueling workouts and, and so forth sort of prepared me for those workouts I had in the hospital, which consisted of a walk to the window and back, by the way, that was my cardio workout. And then, you know, chair squats. And I was lifting the dumbbell, the, my dumbbells were the Poland Spring water bottles. 
I, I knew I needed to, to move around the room. And, uh, you know, I knew they'd test me three days later. They wouldn't let you leave unless you were three days without fever. My fever broke the next day on, on the Monday after Palm Sunday. And so my goal was to get out of that hospital in three days. And I told everyone, the doctors, the nurses, uh, the people that came in to clean the room, uh, there was no doubt that I was getting out of that hospital. I had clarity. And reflecting back, it was Mary that gave me that consolation and that comfort and that security. I just didn't know it at the time. It's amazing how patient she is and how patient God is with us. Uh, but I so got patient. <laughs> so patient. Well, and, and I love how you said, um, how, who do you want to be with you when you're sick? You know, and unfortunately for fathers, most of the time when kids are sick, they want their mom, you know? And so the fact that she not only was there with you the whole time, even if you didn't recognize it, but that she really revealed herself um, in such a special way um, is really the grace of that is so beautiful. Um, thank you so much for, for sharing that. That's, that's amazing. So love with um, Mary in a spiritual sense. I, I, I can't get enough of, of her love. If you want to get to Jesus, my feeling is you go to his mother and she will yeah. just like at the wedding in Cana, the very first miracle, he said, woman, it's not my, t what, do you, what do you want me to do? This is not my time. And then the next thing she said was do whatever he tells do whatever you. He tells you. And, yeah, and, you know. And he, and he did what she told him to do as a, as a, as a good son to his mother. So yeah, um, it's, it's a, it's a journey. And, and you know what, one more item, Caroline. So there's it's something called the 10,000 hour rule in order to be really good at anything you need 10,000 hours in and for sports. So I'm a rookie at this rosary. It's okay. going to take me about 30 years to get there. So, right. I'm sorry, my thing just cut off. I don't know. My my thing cut off. So I didn't. Can you repeat the ten thousand? I didn't hear that. In order to be really good at anything, it's something called the ten thousand hour rule. Oh right. Right. So uh, yeah. Tiger Woods, yeah. by the time he was twelve, he had ten thousand hours in on the golf course already, and you know, prodigies of mu musicians and so forth. And so when it comes to the rosary, you know, for me, an hour a day, it's going to take me about thirty years to get to that moment so I, I'll, I'll be around 80 and then hopefully i'll get to the perfect It'll, rosary <laughs> yeah well i mean we know here they're 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 all perfect in their own way because they're all exactly what we all needed at this moment so people are asking about your book um so we want to talk about that one thing that i wanted to say and i think it was really helpful especially for people that come from a background that kind of have preconception about mary about why do you have to pray to you know, pray to Mary or things like that? I remember somebody, a priest said to me once, if you want to get to know somebody, and I think I've said this here before, if you want to get to know somebody, if I want to know you, I meet you, I talk to you, we have a talk. But if I, real, if I want to know you and I can't talk to you, who knows you the best? And it's your mom. And so talk to, your, talk to that person's mom about their son. And so that idea for me that Mary knows him the best. And so she would be the best to introduce us deeply into Jesus. And that really changed my mindset and my heart to know that she really, she just takes everything to him. So, all right, your book, um, we'll, we'll link it and we'll put the title, we'll put a picture in the story and everything, but will you tell us the title? It's kind of a long title. Sure. It's uh, Surviving COVID-19, How Faith, Focus, Fitness, and hydroxychloroquine saved me. So we got, the, we got it in order there. Again, we talked about it earlier, uh, getting your spirit right. So faith, focus, and fitness, and all of those factors played a major role in my recovery. You can get it on Amazon, or you can go to my website, danvenezia.com. But it's surviving COVID is a cover story. Uh, you know, the Holy Spirit was pulling on my heart to write this as soon as I got out of the hospital. You know, the Holy Spirit was the breath behind every word of the book, but it's really a story about hope. Uh, that mm -hmm. there's a God out there that loves you, that cares about you. And I've had so many moments in my life and I share them throughout the book. But, you know, there's a love story in there about how, you know, I met and, and married my wife. And it's a story about anyone who has a dream and to find that dream taken away from you. How do you find those mini dreams that make life worth living? And, you know, there's a chapter on coaching and the chapter on fatherhood. And, and uh, you know, my child, I came from a single parent mom Right, and, and I wanted to mention that you were you were the youngest of four raised by a single mom, right? 
Right. So my mother was faith filled, uh, Irish Catholic, and you know she didn't bang us over the head with it, but she made sure we went to church. And uh, I thank I thank God every day for my mother who instilled that love of Christ in my siblings and in me. And 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 it was rough, you know, being having an absent father, but my mother played both roles, and uh, so she's my hero in every sense. So there's there's a little bit in this book for everyone, and it's my intention for my story to help you with yours. Because in the end right. of the day, we're all on the same journey. And, uh, you know, we're all the same, even though we're different, we're all the same. Exactly, exactly. Well, out of out of some real hard times for you, you know, look at look at what God is using and in, in your message. And you like you said, you're on fire. And that's just so beautiful. And it's such a good um, example for you know, for men also just to be strong in their faith and to be, to be vocal about, you know, about Mary and about the rosary. And I think it's um, all those people that you mentioned, um, Jonathan Rumi and Scott Hahn and Don Calloway, they're just, you know, like, if anybody needs to get deeper in just to, to look any of those, them up, it's, it's amazing. Um, so what would you tell somebody, um, who once who's kind of feeling like they're out of shape physically or out of shape spiritually. And it seems kind of like a big task. Like how, how do you start? What's the best way to start? Do you think? Oh, that's the way I start my every day. Uh, I used to put my alarm clock underneath my bed and I did that for two reasons. One can't hit the snooze button. But the real reason okay. is that the real reason is that you have to get down on your knees to turn it off, and you begin. At least I begin my day with a sense of uh, a place of gratitude, thanking God for the day. And now, since COVID, uh, since that experience in the hospital, I no longer need to put the alarm clock under my bed because I don't need the reminder. And the first thing I do every morning is I take in a deep breath and I thank God for that very breath. So small steps. And it's the same with working out, right? I mean, right. you do a few minutes each day and you build on that. No one's gonna just begin you know, praying for an hour every day or going to the gym for an hour a day. Just do a little bit. And as you start to see some results, you start to add to it. Um, you know, it, repetition is the mother of skill. I repetition is the mother of skill. Oh, I love that. I wish I had a pen. All right, somebody write that down in the comments and then I'll pin it. So repetition is the mother of skill. Right. That's awesome. Um, well, this was such a beautiful morning and I was I'll give some people some background. Dan was not really, he wasn't scheduled to pray with us today. Usually we schedule out six or eight months and our guest today um, wasn't able to pray with us. And so Dan and I connected just, I don't know, a week ago. And uh, this was the perfect um, rosary for today. And it was definitely divinely inspired. Um, yeah, and, we, had, uh, we had nothing to do with this, so Caroline. so grateful that you could be here. Thank you, Caroline. This, was, this had nothing yeah. to do with us. We need to get out of the way, right? We said, we plan, God laughs. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, no. yeah exactly, exactly. And, and that's what we always say. So it's, uh, it was really lovely. And, um, and uh, we, we'll, we, we will share your book and um, we will pray for you and your wife. I hope she gets her smell and taste back. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Thank tough. You. Thank you so much. Awesome. And, well, everybody and, uh, have a wonderful Tuesday. All right. Thank you so much, Caroline. Keep doing what you're doing. God bless you. Awesome. God bless. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right.